uh, Luigi once he get once he gets in on Cloud, he can rack up damage like no other. Mm -hmm. And also with with Cloud's poor recovery when he doesn't have limit, it is uh, just false prey to to the to the toilet flush. Yeah, for of, sure. Uh, of, of Luigi. And I think Miller with that down throw earlier was recognizing that Cloud's up air is an amazing option to get out of disadvantage. So instead of going for like a down throw down air and trying to extend the string, it's the right percentage. Just go for a down throw up smash. Just take the guaranteed damage. Don't do anything silly. Wills gives him another grab again. Now he's going for it because it's the right percent. I love that. Look at that damage from Miller. Oh my god, from like 20 to 94 in a matter of seconds. Up. Luigi's damage output is disgusting. Yeah, 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 exactly. They nerfed everything about this character apart from his damage output. His back air still does 15%. <laughs> yeah, so like he's I just said, a man, he's just a guy with shoes. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, know what, what's, you don't know what's in those shoes, man. <laughs> yeah, he must be weird. He must be having cement in them or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, look at that, 129. Almost gonna do it for Wills, but making back to the stage even with limit in hand. Did you see the beginning of that up smash coming out before Wills got the grab? Miller was hungry for it, and this is already looking quite a lot better than that meltdown set. Because uh, Miller got kind of handled in the matchup back then, so I think there's no doubt in my mind that he's probably done a fair amount of studying. He's a pretty studious player. Oh boy. Nah, uh, spot dodge was not the option there. <laughs> That's not the option for yeah. that move. I think he was trying to spot dodge a grab, but I like the conditioning there from Wills. He tomahawk grabbed him in that exact scenario quite a few times, and he's like, now nah, I'm going to mix it up. Now it's time for Limit Cross Slash. So uh, a good choice there by Wills, but that raw back air is going to even up real quick. Wills going to run away, set up shot for a bit. Mm. Let my bar go up. Oh, oh, grabs him out of the auto cancel down air, and an incredibly early Cyclone is just going to end that game in the snap of your fingers. Jay Miller takes game one, and he's got the murder face on. He's got the Jay Miller murder face. See, Will, Will recognized, he recognized that down throw to down air to Cyclone from Luigi is not true. <coughs> Only the down throw down air is he died away. But Miller very, very smartly followed it with the Cyclone yeah. to catch his air dodge. And all it takes is one hit. It exactly. only takes one. I was going to comment on it as well, but I was just like, it's like, you know, do you need words for that? No. Nope. You, you just saw it happen. Yep. So heading into game two here. Miller up game one. It's oh, that's the Ezreal. That's the Ezreal. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, the, the down air. Pressing down air with Cloud. <laughs> Pressing down air, that's the Ezreal. Is that not just the Cloud? <laughs> <laughs> All right, another grab for Miller. Yeah, and that's going to be nasty. Percent. Will it lead to a stock right here? Will it lead to a stock? Got me disadvantage. Okay, not quite yet. But okay. Will's, you know, getting limit. Not from charging, but from getting slapped around. Yeah. You can definitely see that Will's is getting a lot of his damage out of spacing aerials on Miller's shield and camping the limit on the platforms. Yeah. Miller just cannot approach Wills on these platforms. He doesn't have the distance, he doesn't have the range. I don't like him using his double jump that early. He gets away with the landing, but Wills definitely could have taken that to a juggle situation. And I feel like Wills is going to have to be careful about um, attacking Luigi's shield because once Miller gets a power shield, it's a grab. It's, it's either 60% or it's, uh, 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 you, you get thrown off stage. Either way, you're in a bad position. For sure. And Miller's landings are, are really looking kind of awkward to me. Oh, chop. what a punish. Chop, chop, chop. Absolutely chopped. <laughs> uh, Just Rick's sneaks behind you. That was the Omae wa Shunduru. <laughs> <laughs> but from Luigi. I'm not getting side. down with the anime references, but I'll let you have it. Uh, you can see he was trying to read a jump there from Wills and actually just didn't quite commit hard enough. But Miller is actually taking this set by the by the horns and looking like he's in the driver's seat. But Will sneaks in that back air. Um, All right. Yeah, Miller's landings are looking a little bit awkward to the set because he's just kind of drifting back and forth. But what is an advantage, he's taking these combos about as far as he possibly can. They're exactly. looking real nice and optimal. Okay. Oh, whiffing the grab, though, that could have been, you know, another 30, 40 percent. All right, Will's fighting back, though, getting a nice upper string. Oh, a beautiful roll yeah. read there by Miller. Miller definitely has Will's on the ropes, especially because he's only, uh, you know, one game away from taking the set. This is Cloud Man. I mean, you, you never really see Wills do the uh, landing up here to finishing touch, but that's always something to be scared of, no matter what. Cloud is one of those characters who can just end the game whenever he chooses. Gets a grab. All right. Put himself in a slightly scary situation there yeah, because Wills could have up out of disadvantage and, I agree. And, and taken the stage back. But Miller's evasiveness has actually been really good here. I like that landing a lot better there. Try and go for an empty land up smash. He needs to be careful about his shield as well. He's taking a lot of shield damage. No, definitely going to the Will's mind right now. 
do I bet it all on a finishing touch or do I trust in my consistent play? Oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> the pressure, and he's going to hold it. Yeah, and he yeah, recognizes yeah, yeah, yeah. how punishable it was. And now Miller's off stage, and the last hit is that hit. Oh, my God. Will Just like that. That Oh, you can see Will shaking his yeah. head. He knows that was a little bit much. That was cheeky, but <laughs> Will's clawing his way back into this set, mm. not giving up uh, whatsoever. Yeah, for sure. The thing about Wills is he's a, he's, a, he's a guy who's been playing Smash Bros in some capacity for years and years now. He's a lot older than he actually looks. But um, I think... You were talking about Wills. Uh, Wills, yeah. yeah, yeah. His, he, fundamentally, he is very strong. He's very strong. But his spacing is actually very inconsistent. And right. with a character like Clive, it's really important. Sometimes you see him do these amazing fade back, like run up, up air on shield. And he's like a meter away from you. And sometimes he'll just kind of point blank back air on your shield. Or point blank up air, or like not drift away enough of Nair, and his aerials can be yeah. very punishable. So Wills needs to absolutely make sure that his spacing is as pristine as it needs to be for this game three. And uh, Miller needs to make sure that he doesn't let Wills clutch it out like he did last game. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually surprised that Miller is opting to go to Smashville since he did lose a couple of stocks uh, to limit cross slash, but sent you off to the sides. And Smashville is, of course, known for having a slightly, le uh, slightly less wide. Uh, horizontal edges. Yeah, an asymmetrical blast into that, which is really weird. Yeah. But yeah, I, I totally see what you're saying. It does give him like a bit more flat stage into sh uh, like to shoot fireballs and yeah. get in. And you can see he did exactly oh what I talked oh about boy. there. And now the combos begin. Good empty yeah. land. Nice Beautiful. tomahawk grab there from Wills. Miller gets the jabs. And the juggle has begun. Yep, wait at the air dodge. All it takes is a short up to force an air dodge. And then you just hop again, throw the sword up. Okay. Ooh, a bit of a preemptive reach there on trying to cover off stage. But Will's not going to fade back enough with his uh, down air, making it possible oh, for Miller to just, just grab him. Miller just pushing and pushing Will's off stage. Another spot dodge in the corner. Miller's got to be careful. He's lost a stock to that already, but he anti airs him with the up smash. I like that. Reading that he was going to try and do another back effort pressure and just saying, all right, I'll fight this. Okay, and reminiscent of game two, Miller sneaking into the lead, gets a grab. It's going to rack up some decent percent. I think he wanted a little bit of a, like, like a dash forward yeah, to get yeah, another yeah. grab. But yeah, you can see these, uh, these fireballs are confirming into grabs quite a lot from Miller. And as soon as he takes a few aerials and shield, he just kind of backs away. He, he doesn't continue to go in. Then, then you see, that was more of a power shield, but um, <coughs> Will's got to be careful oh, that he's not doing punishable stuff. That. And you know, on stage, off stage, just a master of the fireball. Just knowing where to place them and knowing how to use them properly. For sure, yeah. And we, we talked about how Cloud could end games just like